So the only addition of Windows 7 available to download using the Dell OS recovery tool is Professional. And home users are encouraged to migrate to Windows 10. However, what happens if we want to install another edition? Well, what we can do is download Windows 7 Professional, and then we can change two files on the USB to convert it to a Dell Windows 7 Home Premium ISO. It is also recommended to follow my other tutorial video, which instructs on updating the install.wim, giving you additional driver support. So, to change the edition, what we need to do is open up our bootable USB and go to the Sources folder. So the first file you want to alter is the ei.cfg file. And you can open it in Notepad or better is Notepad++. So we're changing one line of code here. This professional, we're changing it to Home Premium and we're going to have no spaces between home and premium. And that's it. We just save this file and then we close it. Okay, so let's scroll up to the top and we're going to this dollar $OEM dollar and then dollar dollar and then setup and then scripts. And the one we want to edit is the SLP script. So this inputs the generic OEM system locked pre-installation key, but it inputs the one for professional and we need to change this to the one for home premium. Okay, so we can copy and paste this key from the written guide. and we just want to replace the professional key with it. So just make sure you don't put any additional spaces or anything here. And just replace the key and save the file. Okay. So that's it. The bootable USB now is set up for Windows 7 Home Premium. And here are some of the screenshots during installation. We get the Home Premium license screen. We get the Windows 7 Home Premium setup. The drivers have been slipstreamed, so I'm even connected to the internet during the Windows setup, which is something you rarely see with standard Windows 7 installation media. And as mentioned, OEM system lock pre-installation will be maintained. So if we go to the start button and right click computer and select properties, we can check the activation status. And because the system is a Dell with a system license internal code of 2.1 embedded in its UFI bias or legacy bias, it will automatically be activated. Note, if you take this media to a non-Dell, it will not be activated.